Here we go. All right. That was a bad cut. I don't care. I've had enough. <laughs> That's a bad cut. <clears throat> Here we go. Welcome to Nintendo Land. <gasps> what does that mean? If almost all the classic Nintendo amazing. franchises came together in a virtual theme park. Oh, this right. is how they wrapped it. Um, all this stuff was brought out on stage and nobody knew what the fuck was going on. And if that theme park became a way to start demonstrating the gaming magic of the Wii U gamepad, well, that would be Nintendo Land. Easy, Reggie. You can do when it. When the Wii first arrived, they this. took Wii Sports Tennis to explain the underlying appeal. When you played it, for the first time, you got it. For Wii U, Nintendo Land does the same thing. Play it, and you begin to understand. I think half the audience was With like, it, are they opening a theme the park? integrated yeah, no doubt. second Could screen you imagine? takes on yeah. fuller meaning. I can't and the person I'd who go to Nintendo Land over to Disneyland. Oh, yeah, I don't give a shit. Is the oh, driving yeah. force but behind three no. important <laughs> Nintendo properties. Animal Crossing, Wii Sports, and Wii Sports Resort. Huh? And he's also the Wii U software producer, Mr. Katsuya. It's good. Okay. It's just same thing. So please welcome him along with Jonathan Yeckley of Nintendo's Treehouse. This is pretty cool. Hello. Blah, 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 blah. The best way is to show. I think it is. I'm just going to skip all his explanation, really, and just kind of explain it myself once he gets to it. So, you know how the Wii debuted with um, uh, Wii Sports? Kind of, and that's what defined the system? Yeah. I think they're hoping you'll use the Wii U gamepad to show up all the capabilities. Yeah. So here's a mini game. In it. Yeah, do you remember from the last year? He even acknowledges that. He says you may have seen during last year's trailer the way that that works. They keep showing that black Wii U. Yeah. Yeah. It must be, like, you have to wonder, are they going to release both colors at launch? Yeah. And will... they got to create demand for them. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are comparing it to PlayStation Home, which is horrible, but with mini games. Um, okay, blah, 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 Up to five players. Again, fucking awesome. You're going to see a lot of five-player co-op and multiplayer. Yeah, from Wii U. Strange number to settle on, but that's awesome. It's just because of the Wii controller. Like, it's... You take four-player split on screen plus a Wii U controller. It just makes sense. Potentially, you could have six player uh, clue. Yeah. Do you guys remember last year Chase Me? The demo called we, Chase Me? Oh, uh, yeah. We didn't play it. It was at E3 and it was a demo that involved four people on um, the TV screen who can uh, actually, it's split screen on the TV. This is the Wii U screen that you're looking at right now. Yeah. This is the, the tagged person, the person who's trying to catch them. They can see all four people at once, and uh, the people who are actually playing have a split screen where they can only see themselves. So they have and the they disadvantage. Just trust that nobody's looking at the big screen. No, no that's person, just on the, the Wii U The person with controller. the Wii U is allowed to use the big screen. They can use that as an advantage, oh, too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the person who's it. it has the Wii U controller, has the advantage of not only seeing everything from above, they can also see your... Okay. Not that they'd want to really look up. They'd want to see the above view, because they can see where everybody is. So you're the ghost if you have the Wii U controller. So, if the teammates don't cooperate by talking to each other, when the ghost is near, they won't be able to track it down. Hmm. They're, They're trying to catch the ghost, the ghost. but the ghost is also trying to get them. Just like Luigi's Mansion, unfortunately. Mario! 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 <laughs> when the flashlight beam hits the ghost, he takes damage. The ghost's life meter starts at 100, and it drops 
Oh, it's hard to hear it when he's they've got the same audio levels. If all four humans are down at the same time, the ghost wins. So if nobody's able to stop the ghost from attacking a living player, the player goes down. But the flashlights can revive them. Boom. But battery lights run out. It's a very in-depth, like, these aren't just mini-games. These are, like, fully-fleshed-out games. As the batteries run low, the power of the flashlight gets weaker until it goes out altogether. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Of course, the ghost will also guess at this and maybe lying in wait, so you have to be careful. Oh, the ghost might hide by batteries because he knows that you want them. They were doing all they could to revive it. Oh, it's, it's, it's a good idea. You often lose track of what's happening around like it. Yeah, man, I think it's perfect. I think it's totally perfect. The remote of the person who fainted still rumbles when the ghost approaches. They have to tell the players around them to watch out and help it run by them. What color would you want? You want white, right? Red? So this is Nintendo Land. Or red? Yeah. <laughs> this is Nintendo Land. So Nintendo Land is like a place. This is how I kind of brand it. They didn't say this, but this is how I brand it. It's an ongoing Mario Party that gets new mini games added to it on a like, monthly rad. basis. That's cool. Maybe even more often, who knows. But see, there's a symbol for Zelda up there. Yeah. Mario um, Shuriken symbol for that game that he showed already. A Boo symbol for probably Luigi's Mansion. What's the plane? Star Fox. Star Fox? Yeah, Star Fox. Uh, Mario with, uh, like, as a Tanuki with the leaf there, obviously. What is that one there? With the ch Wu Tang Clan. Yes. Good one, Deacon. And Yoshi game? Um, a flower being... I don't know. That, uh... <laughs> a leaf equals Animal Crossing. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. I don't know what half of those mean. Oh, there was a Mario hat there. Metroid Star helmet. Fox, Metroid. Metroid, Pikmin. So the idea, I guess, okay. is, yeah, like, can you imagine, like, what a boon That'd this awesome. is for our show? Because we could be playing. Yeah. We could do a monthly episode where we play the new Nintendo Land games. Yeah, like, man. New Wii, That's like, cool. a few new mini games that are added. Yeah, that would That's be what I'm hoping fun. they do. And our buddy Slycat, who a, is a part of the uh, Nintendo PR park, team, says, no you're going to see Nintendo Land will different lands from different companies. Cool. So there might be more oh, really? than just Nintendo Land, there might be Ubisoft Land. That's cool. We'll launch at Very the cool. same time as I'm the Wii impressed. hardware mm -hmm. this holiday. Slycat, I worry about your... Yeah, it's like that if I'm ever this saying too much. <laughs> start playing Nintendo Land I trust that he only tells me stuff that I'm allowed to say, and that if I'm ever not allowed to say it, he will make it very clear in, my, in the emails advantage. he sends to me. You can walk right over to the convention center today and play for yourself. Unfortunately, those tuning in don't have that opportunity, huh. so we've prepared the next best thing. What? what? You can go to their website. Blah, blah. Today, coming up huh. we'll be able to dive deeper into the world of Nintendo. It's not the next Batman, best thing. City, yeah. And Ship us all Nintendo. All Nintendo all access yeah! <laughs> for all those watching at home, <laughs> getting a free Nintendo. And for all you watching at home, we don't need your money. You're getting a free Nintendo Wii U. <laughs> free. That's what you get. <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> I mean, I'll be good See? Could you imagine hey! what? Hey, that was a different dude. No, 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 not the those dudes. The ones they showed two people ago. But she was with a different dude. Really? Yeah, that was her. She's totally cheating. Did I see that shit? Not cool. And with that, thank you. Together better, TM. No TM. Thank you. They broke up between ads. Scandalous. That's the end of the, the Nintendo conference. Pretty bad. Um, yeah, there's so many good games. Okay, so out, man. the Nintendo conference ends with a fizzle, not a bang. Check this out. He says, we'll leave you with one last look at Wii U Land. Check this out. 
let it play out. Let... But they did the colors on the that's, audience. That's it? But they had to coordinate the lighting. No, no Zelda. Oh, that was a fizzle. Okay. That was not a bang. I'm sorry. No, it wasn't. Um, but uh, like I said, it was a great conference. Showed cool stuff. Wii U is awesome. As I said, Nintendo probably, uh, by default, wins all of E3 because they brought a new console to light. They've got one ready to ship in yep. this Christmas season. Wins over Ubisoft? Overall. For a conference, as yeah. a conference, okay. but as a stream, as a presentation, Ubisoft, Ubisoft beat the shit out of them. Yep. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, but Ubisoft has a far, far first place. Then I say and Sony then, and, and Nintendo. Maybe PlayStation, PlayStation Nintendo. beat. Maybe PlayStation. I think Sony may have beat Nintendo. Yeah. Just because of the wow effect, yeah. like you yeah. got. They had a major wow effect. Yeah. Not only did they have the stuff by Quantic Dream, uh, what's it called? Beyond. They yeah, also had holy some shit. Shit, yeah. Yeah. gameplay from a, a great exclusive title that we all want so bad, The Last of Us. So, yeah. I, I gotta say it, yeah. Third place for Nintendo, just for the stream. But they win overall yeah. E3, even though I'm not there, I'm gonna call it, they win overall E3. They have to. They brought a new system, nobody else did. Yeah. Um, uh, so when we come back... <laughs> you guys are gonna like this, it's stupid. We'll be back. Konami!